Edo State Governor, Godwin Abeski has warned Rivers State Governor, Nissim Wyke over public statement made by the Rivers State Governor trying to belittle and underrate the person in office of the Edo State Deputy Governor, Philip Shibu when the Deputy Governor expressed his feelings against what he considered inappropriate activities in the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Governor Godwin Abeski in a press statement personally signed, said PDP is not the personal property of the Rivers State Governor, Nissim Wyke in Edo State cannot be procured. In Edo, we don't accept political bullies and overlords and historically, we have demonstrated our capacity to unshackle ourselves and dethrone bullies and high-handed leaders, Governor Godwin Abeski said. Excerpts of the press release reads thus. Abeski to Wyke, PDP is not your personal property, Edo cannot be procured. The recent personal attacks by His Excellency, the Governor of Rivers State, Right Honorable Nissim Wyke, against my Deputy Governor, Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shibu is, to say the least, most unfortunate and totally uncalled for. If Governor Wyke was one who is wont to show respect and courtesy to his colleague governors, he would have ordinarily reached out to me to express his concerns about the views made by my deputy governor, rather than embarking on this unwarranted public onslaught. My deputy governor was a former national president of the National Association of Nigerian Student, NANS, and his comment is representative of the essence of the nation's youth population, who are inclined to openly speak up and question the status quo. If Governor White cannot understand and adequately respond to the style and character of the Nigerian youth, how can he aspire to lead them? His Excellency, Governor White should have taken a cue from the manner in which the national chairman of our party, Senator Dr. Iorkia Ayu, responded to my deputy's remarks, as a conscientious leader who is able to show empathy and consideration. The concerns expressed by my deputy governor bordered on pertinent issues affecting the PDP in Edo State which since the September 19, 2020 elections, has been able to register over 500,000 members, until date, these new members have not been properly integrated into our party after two years. Also, the leaders, executives and members who came with me into the party have still not been accepted, integrated or harmonized into the party. More worrisome is the fact that old members of Edo PDP, who are open to inclusion and supportive of building a large party are being vilified and ostracized by a cabal purportedly led by Chief Dan Orby, who is your perpetual guest in Port Harcourt and is remotely used to orchestrate the destabilization of the party in Edo State. It is necessary to recall at this point that a political solution gave rise to the emergence of Chief Dan Orby first as acting and then as substantive national vice chairman, south-south, of our party when Chief Emma Agidi resigned that position to allow Chief Orby to ascend. It is therefore curious why this type of political solution is no longer tenable to resolve the political impasse in Edo State PDP. We can categorically state that in the comments of the Deputy Governor, he at no point threatened the party as Governor Wyke has alleged. Rather, it is Governor Wyke, who has at different times, threatened the PDP. Some of these instances include 1. On September 16, 2018, Governor Wyke threatened the party that there would be grave consequences if it moved the National Convention from Port Harcourt in the run-up to the 2019 presidential election. 2. On September 12, 2019, Governor Wyke also threatened to cause trouble for the party over the emergence of Honorable Ndudi Alumelu as the minority leader of the House of Representatives. Undoubtedly, Governor Wyke has contributed to the advancement of the party, just like others, since 1999. No one is against his desire to run for president, however, his ambition should not be embarked on in such a way that it would cause disruption at different levels, such as the PDP Governor's Forum as well as different chapters of the party across the country. It clearly amounts to delusion of grandeur for any one man to nurse the idea that he owns or has more stake in the PDP and everyone should pander to him. We are all equal stakeholders in the party and an aggregate of the ideas, Opinions and contributions of all leaders and members should form the position of the party and not the view of one individual or a select few. While Governor Wyke is free to use his resources as he deems fit in pursuit of his ambition, he should not attempt to cow, intimidate, cajole and threaten others into doing his bidding. Edo State cannot and will not be procured for anyone's personal ambition. What Nigeria needs now are strong democratic institutions and not strong men. That is why we will join the great leaders of our party across the country to build PDP into a strong, large and indomitable party that will win next year's presidential election. 
Governor Wyke and his collaborators headed by Chief Dan Orby in Edo State will not succeed in destabilizing the PDP in Edo State as they did other states like Cross River just to secure delegates to actualize his alleged personal ambition to run for presidency in 2023. In Edo, we don't accept political bullies and overlords and historically, we have demonstrated our capacity to unshackle ourselves and dethrone bullies and high-handed leaders. I appeal to all well-meaning leaders of our great party to call Governor White to order, to desist from his current unguarded and disruptive tendencies. From all indications today, PDP is set to take over the leadership of Nigeria provided we can reign in the self-interest of a few leaders to put the task of rescuing Nigeria above their personal ambitions.